sweeping river floods for a long time could not be crossed. Our progress has been due in the main to breaking down these barriers, largely by improving our means of transportation. important. It'll impact a lot of people if it wasn't here. The ferry makes it more, a lot more convenient for people that work on the other side of the river. Um, and most of the people, or I know a large amount of the people that use it are the ones that work at the, on this side of the river, working the, uh, the prison and there's some other businesses over here. I know that there's, that I see them every day that they work over here. Well, mainly for us, it's just a, a shortcut when we come down for dropping off like taxes and whatnot. In the summertime when we go for rides, it just adds a little something, being able to cut across, do one great big loop back into Waynesburg. That means a lot to them, uh, especially the workers up there at the prison. Every day, there. I mean, there's 50, 60 of them every day I move across. Well, I know it's been here for I'm not sure how many years, and it's always been convenient for us. I know a couple times when we came down and it was closed for high waters or something. Yeah, and then you get lost. We had we got we had to do the loop a couple times up there because it's, we didn't know where we were going because we always use this. <laughs> it has a lot of historical value because I know a lot of. Uh, family members who can tell stories about riding across the ferry when they were kids. A lot of my family members used to live over here uh, on this side of the river. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a, a large story of the body. If they want to, there's going to be a museum, it should be on the water and they can still ride it. They don't want to, they don't want to come and see it on land. It's a good shape yet, so I think it'll be good for four more years anyhow. I think it'll be here for a while yet.